Hi guys, it's Petra. I just want to show you um, what it looks like when you go to a hosting site. Um, if you need your site hosted, one of your photos hosted, excuse me, for your website. Uh, one I use is Imgur, I-M-G-U-R dot com, but there's all kinds available. If you just do a search engine search for free hosting or free image hosting, um, you can use whatever site you like. And the way that these free sites work is they have tons of advertising on them and that's how they make their money and that's how they're able to offer you the service for free so some of these websites they have um, kind of questionable ads or images on them uh, but if that doesn't bother you then you know use whatever site you want so um, so on Imgur what you would do is uh, you could sign up you could register for free if you wanted to or you could just go straight to imgur.com and then click on computer to upload an image and then you would choose an image that you want. You can click here if you intend to edit the image. Uh, but for this instance, we're not going to do that. We're just going to upload it. I just want to show you what it looks like when you're going to upload an image that you need hosting for. So what it did was it uploaded the image the exact size that I had the image. So if you're not going to, if you don't want to do any resizing, image hosting site then get it to the correct size that you want before you upload it to the hosting site so here we have the uploaded image and it's already made codes for us the code that you would want to use if you're going to if, if uh, the site that you need just wants the URL would be this one direct link but Normally you would use this one, like I mentioned in the previous videos, you would use HTML image, which is for websites and blogs, you would use this entire code. So if you just click once in any of these fields, it copies the entire, well not copy, but it selects the entire code. So then you can right click, then left click copy. And then what you would do is open up Notepad. And then paste that code and then save it to your desktop, make it easier. So I'm going to pretty face HTML code, save it like that. Okay, now to make it clickable, this is what you do. I would save the original format here and then repaste it here and put type clickable colon. Then change this part, which is the URL you want to send them to, to the URL you want to send the, the visitor to. Now this code at the end is something new I hadn't seen before and I'm not sure what they're doing with that now, uh, but before that wasn't there. So if you want to remove it, you could, or if you want to save it, go ahead and save it for now. So I'm going to save this file again. And then when you're ready to paste your hosted image, all you have to do is click and drag to select it. And then you can hit Control C on your keyboard or you can right click and then left click copy. And then paste it wherever you're paste or embed whatever website or blog you're gonna you're gonna use that for. So this is just one of the sites that you can get uh, free hosting. There's other sites available. All you have to do is a simple online search engine search for free hosting or free image hosting. Um, find the site that you like. They're basically all going to work the same. They're going to provide codes for you. This one provides a deletion link as well. So if you want to save all these links into the notepad note, you could, uh, including the deletion link if there's for some reason that you wanted to remove it later. Okay, thanks for watching.